G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here and in this video we're going to show you how to make this HMS Belfast Microscale Town Class Light Cruiser warship that was involved in World War II D-Day landings. It is currently a tourist museum moored on the Thames River in the heart of London, England. This is a my own creation, mock, we have designed and built. We have also provided a link to a PDF on our website, mattelder.com, with free instructions you can download to build along with. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. Here just showing all the parts you need to build this ship. Most of the parts are pretty standard and nothing too fancy. The white pieces can be any colour. The blue pieces could just as easily be grey. I've just used them as a bit of a waterline simulation on the hull. We start off with these 2 by 2 by 2 thirds, 2 sided stud pieces. This will allow us to build a hull in a snot, studs not on top technique. These are then doubled up and mirrored to each side of the hull. They will be floating for a little bit, but this will allow for an economical and strong part usage. We join these together with white 1x6 and 1x8 plates. Again the white can be any colour as it won't be visible in the final model. Mirroring onto the other side so that the 2x2x2 third pieces line up. Now just a matter of placing curves, tiles and some more plates. Thanks to a couple of members of the London AFOL's registered LEGO users group for some pointers around the snot in the hull. It's a great lug group and check out my interview with the founder Richard Selby here as to what he tries to do to keep it a great group. With the HMS Belfast it is called the town class as it is from a group of ships that were named after towns in the United Kingdom. It was originally commissioned in 1939 and in November of that year hit a German mine and took another two years undergoing extensive repairs. Then in June of 1944 she supported the D-Day landings firing upon German artillery battery at Vera sur Mur while troops were landing. In this next step you put in a couple of 1x1 plates into the 1x4 slopes just to fill in that little gap. HMS Belfast saw combat in 1950 to 1952 during the Korean War and more modernization between 1956 and 1959 before entering into reserve in 1963. In 1967 efforts were started to preserve her from being scrapped. Now we join the two mirrored halves of the hull together. These are then held in place by a 2x16 plate. If you wanted additional clutch you could easily include more of those 2 by 2 by 2 third pieces in the hull in the gaps that currently exist, but it isn't necessary. From here we can build up the deck in layers or slices. From 1966 to 1970 the ship served as an accommodation ship while the Imperial War Museum became interested in preserving her as a 6 inch turret which were fast disappearing at the time. In 1967 when the Gambia was too far gone Belfast became the most economical and practical to save. However the government decided in 1971 against preservation and she was reduced to disposal to be scrapped. A private trust was formed in 1971 with those who had served on her becoming pivotal in her preservation. In the meantime the ship was being stripped of removable equipment while the trust put a proposal together. In October 1971 HMS Belfast was towed to London where a hole had been dredged for her in the riverbed Thames in her current position, right near London's iconic tower bridge. Really must build that Lego model one day. In 1978 the trust was merged into the Imperial War Museum. The ship has been dry docked twice as part of the ship's long term preservation. Once in 1982 and again in 1999 when she was towed to Portsmouth. There were tentative plans for another dry docking in 2020 but sure that is up in the air now. The current paint camouflage scheme is known as Admiralty Disruptive Camouflage which she had worn from 1942 to 1944. There was some debate about this as it doesn't match her retrofit configuration from 1956 to 1959. As a museum it is divided into three sections. One is life on board the ship with an emphasis on the experience of serving at sea. The next is the inner workings which is below the waterline focusing on the mechanical and engineering aspects of the ship. The last is action stations about the ship's weapons, command and firepower. And there is our microscale LEGO HMS Belfast all completed and sailing away. Most of the information in this commentary has come from the HMS Belfast Wikipedia page so do check that out for further information. We hope this has given you some insight into the ship and one of central London's iconic landmarks. Here is a quick flick through of the instructions you'll find on our website www.mattelder.com. 
Towards the back is a parts list slash inventory showing exactly the parts needed. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. If you do happen to make this model or some variation, be sure to post the link below or on social media. Links in the description. We'd love to see them. These are some of our other models. If you'd like to check out some of our other custom mock builds, be sure to check out our LEGO Scenario range. Alternatively, here are some other videos you might enjoy. If you did get something out of this video, hit that thumbs up button. We'd love to get 20 thumbs up and really does inspire us to continue building free instructions like this. That's all from us here at Family Bricks. Thanks very much for watching and until next time when we talk about all things LEGO and lifestyle.